Hey people, let's get ready to go. I don't know why I started like that. Please ignore me. Okay. Today, I'm doing something that I've never done before, and that is planting wild sea buckthorn or sea buckthorn. And uh, yes, I don't know what to expect because there's not that much information out there online about doing it from seed. So here I have a package of seeds. They have a different name, Seaberry Shrub. It's just, you know, that company decided to use a different name. Same thing. This is wild sea buckthorn. There's a difference. There's some different varieties that you can get. Some are grown for the purposes of eating them or juicing them or drying them or using them for beauty products. These ones, oh my goodness. You're ruining my shot. There's a fruit fly in here. Oh my God. It's January, yo. Where did you come from? Anyways, let's hope he doesn't steal the spotlight again. Oh, where was I? So there's not that much information online. These ones are from Richter's Herbs. Some of them are made for edible purposes, blah, 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 blah. But these ones are recommended for ornamental or otherwise because they don't have the biggest berries. So I'm trying it out. I also have ordered three different kinds of sea buckthorn from Richter's Herbs that will be shipping in the spring. And those are citrus gold, Huron Sunset, and then the male variety, which is the Lord. So these trees do need to have both male and female to produce the fruit. So I'm going to do that. They will not fruit for like four to five years. So, you know, this is a very long-term thing. But I'm going to give it a go, because why not? These are apparently so, so good for you. I must say that these seeds looked a little bit different from each other. These ones are a little pointier than the wild sea buckthorn were, were from Richter's. They were more rounded and shiny. I repeated the same process with some of my other seeds that I've done in other videos where I placed them in a plastic bag with a damp paper towel, put them in my kitchen fridge, and they are going to stay there for up to 90 days. But it is recommended that you could do it in a tray with soil in it in the fridge, but I share my refrigerator and I don't think someone will want to see some seedlings in the fridge because that would just start an issue but anyways i'm going to just link a few things below one is an event that happened at richter's that gave quite a bit of information about sea buckthorn in general and then i'll link the healing arc below the healing arc is a farm well i guess it's more of an orchard with sea buckthorn they specialize in sea buckthorn here in ontario so i'm gonna link them below and if I can find any information about starting them from seeds, I'll link that too. Oh my goodness, please let me know if you've done this from seed. I have little information. So, again, long term, I will let you guys know what the heck's up and have an amazing day. Thank you so much for listening to me rant. <laughs> Bye, guys.